what's up my name is Techno Bay here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this quick video i'll be covering some solutions to dark tide randomly crashing freezing or even not launching at all there's a bunch of fixes and more than likely your fix will be somewhere in this video by the end you should be able to play once more first of all obviously if you haven't already restart your pc and when it restarts make sure to close all of the programs that automatically open that you don't specifically need for your game including and importantly not discord performance monitoring software or even recording software as they hook into the game add overlays and could cause issues with it if your issue is fixed it's probably one of the bits of software running in the background or trying to draw over the game if you're able to launch the game when you're on the main menu try lowering some of the settings and running in either full screen mode for better performance or windowed mode for better compatibility if things still aren't happy you can try running the game as administrator or steam as administrator to run steam as admin simply open it up Click Steam in the top left and then choose Exit. Then when you're restarting Steam using the shortcut or searching for it in your start bar, simply right click it and choose Run as Administrator. Then when you fire up the actual game itself, it should run in admin mode as well. But we can also try a couple of compatibility settings. Simply right click Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, hover over Manage and click Browse Local Files. Inside of here, we'll be opening the Binaries folder, then locating and right clicking on darktide.exe, then choose Properties. Inside of here, head across to Compatibility, where we'll be ticking Disable Full Screen Optimizations and run this program as Administrator. Then click Apply OK and try and fire up the game again through Steam. Note that launching it through the EXE itself usually won't work properly. If you're running a third-party antivirus, now's a good time to try and temporarily disable it. Usually you'll right-click the icon on your start bar and choose to disable, turn off or temporarily disable, which should stop it interfering with the game. If the issue is fixed, then try whitelisting the game in that third-party antivirus or firewall software. Now, yep, assuming you've already updated your graphics driver and that didn't fix things, we can try rolling it back or at least using a more stable version. And would you know it, Nvidia and AMD have made that incredibly easy. In the description down below, you'll find some links. The first one is the Nvidia driver downloads where we can simply select our graphics card by choosing the series, then the actual card itself, choose an operating system, in my case, Windows 11, and instead of choosing the game ready or latest driver, we'll be choosing the studio driver. By doing so, we'll download a slightly older version of our graphics driver. However, it'll be much more stable. For AMD, you'll simply select graphics, then your graphics series and graphics card, then submit and expand Windows 11 or whatever you have. If you don't see your version, select the version right below it, i.e. Windows 11. If there's nothing, choose Windows 10 64-bit and inside of here, you'll find some downloads. Adrenaline Edition is the latest game-ready driver and the Pro Edition here is their Studio Driver. It should be a lot more stable, though a little bit older. Click Download here and go through and install it. When you're done, restart your PC and see if things are fixed. If they're not, there's a couple more things we can try. If you're running with very low available RAM or you have little RAM to begin with in your PC, we can try raising our paging file or basically emergency overflow RAM, which puts things on our hard drive or SSD when things get a little bit too crammed to prevent programs and windows crashing. Hit start, type in performance, and we'll be opening adjust the appearance and performance of windows inside of this new window here head across to advanced and under virtual memory click change here now more than likely you can tick automatically manage paging file size for all drives otherwise if you prefer to have this unticked you can select the fastest drive in your pc or simply c drive and choose system managed size Otherwise, you can choose custom size and enter a good amount of space to dedicate to overflow RAM. Usually a good rule of thumb for anything under, say, 12 gigabytes of RAM, you'll set this to around 6,000 megabytes or 6 gigabytes initial size and around 12,000 for the maximum size. Of course, this is all your preference. Usually leave initial at 6,000 and maximum somewhere above that. And by doing so, a new overflow file will be created on your drive, take up a little bit of space, but at least things won't crash when you run out of RAM. That being said, usually you can leave it on the Windows managed options, especially if you've turned it off completely. That should fix your issue. Now, if you're crashing where you should see cutscenes or videos, you may simply be missing video codecs, which are essentially drivers for different video formats. 
especially if you're using an end version of Windows, which is like a lighter weight version. To fix this, in the description down below, you'll find the Media Feature Pack list for Windows N editions. Simply scroll down here, where you see all of these different versions here. Simply select your version of Windows. More than likely, it'll be the bottom one here, Windows 11 slash Windows 10 22H2. Click this link here, scroll down a little bit, and we'll see how to get the update here. Usually it's settings, apps, apps and features, optional features, add a feature and search for the media feature pack. So start settings, apps, optional features, and we can search for it here to see if we have it installed. Otherwise click view features on Windows 11, search for it here, and you should be able to simply tick next to it, click next and follow through with a simple installation guide. On top of this, you can scroll to the very bottom where you'll see more Windows features inside of here. Simply make sure that media features is ticked. At this point, you may be required to restart your PC, but hopefully things will be working properly when you get it back up. And finally, if worst comes to worst, a fix that a lot of people have been talking about is deleting your save files for the game. However, instead of deleting them outright, instead, I'll show you how to move them or at least back them up so we can trick the game into thinking we've reset it. And if things start working, we can copy in the old files and our save game once more. To do so, hold start and press R. Then inside of here, type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. Then we'll be looking for fat shock. Open this up. And inside of here, we have dark tide. This is where our settings and save files will be. A lot of people say to delete this, but instead just rename it. That way the game can't find it. It'll regenerate it the next time it launches. And if things are fixed, you can close out of the game. Then come back here, delete the newly generated Dark Tide folder and rename our backup back to Dark Tide. Fire up the game and hopefully things will be working once more at this point and we won't have lost any progress. You can try manually messing around with some files inside of that folder. However, if you can't get things working, a clean refresh is unfortunately what you may have to do. But always do keep a backup of your old save game. That way you don't miss out on anything. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobie here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.